Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a look at some of our stories tonight. A high speed chase leads to a man turning a gun on himself. Ogemaw County investigators say this video shot by a TV5 viewer shows a white van driven by a 60 year old Rose City man being pursued by deputies. The sheriff's office says shortly before five yesterday afternoon, the driver fled from a traffic stop in West Branch. He eventually got held up by construction at the intersection of West Wright Street and M30. Investigators say that's when he reversed into a deputy deputy's vehicle disabling it. The chase continued into Gladwin County where deputies were able to deploy stop sticks, which deflated some of the tires. Authorities say the man then showed a shotgun out the window and continued onto M61. Shortly after, deputies say they heard a gunshot and the van ran off the road and crashed into a ditch. The driver was found dead inside. The deputy whose vehicle was hit is recovering. A Davison man facing charges accused of threatening the United Auto Workers president. Genesee County Prosecutor David Layton says earlier this week, Zachary David White sent a series of threatening text messages to UAW President Sean Fain. 31 year old White is facing charges of false report or threat of terrorism, a 20 year felony, and false report or threat of a bomb or harmful device, a four year felony. He was arraigned on the charges in the 67th District Court in Flint. We'll be seeing more orange barrels in Saginaw on Monday. All of the streets right there on your screen will have some sort of project. Railroad tracks will be repaired, closing the westbound lanes of Frazier until the last Friday of the month. A section of northbound Mason will be closed to replace a water line and road repairs closing South Wedock Avenue between Janes and East Genesee until Tuesday evening. And now here's Kyle with your forecast. Thanks, Meg. As we go throughout the rest of our evening, pretty quiet out there for us, making uh, really nice weather for anything that you've got uh, planned for the rest of the evening. And as we go into the overnight, uh, we remain quiet, a little bit warmer than it has been over the past few nights because we do have some southwesterly winds bringing up a little bit more of that warmth. And we're also slowly working in more clouds, though right now I think most of that cloud cover will arrive as we go into Saturday. So uh, there will be a decent majority of mid Michigan that does start out with some sunshine tomorrow, but it will gradually become more and more cloudy as we go throughout the day as we transition into the afternoon hours and more so into the evening. We're going to start to look at a few rain showers that will try to move through mid Michigan, but I don't really expect too much of an issue from those until we get closer to sunset and then eventually after sunset going into the overnight hours and into your Sunday morning. That'll be the best chance for those showers to move through, especially for the Tri Cities thumb and down towards Flint. As we go into the afternoon, those showers move out of the area, but a few straggling light showers will be possible as we go into the afternoon and even into your evening on Sunday and potentially lingering into your Monday as well, though chances there will be much lower as we go into the middle parts of the week. We're warming those temperatures back into the middle and upper 70s there after starting out the week in the middle 60s. So a nice warm up for fans of summer as we go into the end of the week. There might be a little bit of a hint at a cool down there and maybe some very isolated rain chances by Friday, but overall pretty decent forecast after some gloomier and rainier days for the weekend. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.